Hi, thank you for joining Pioneer. My name is Aaron Pence. I'm from the Norman Central Library. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me today. You are almost ready to make your very own story. This time, we'll learn how to make an introduction to our story, and then you'll get to make your own. One of the things that almost every TV show or movie or anything really has is an introduction, a place where you know you're getting into story mode. Even a book has an introduction screen. Have you ever seen a cover? We're going to make our own introduction screen here. Click the Paint option on the Choose a Backdrop menu. Remember, don't click on the Backdrop button. Just point at it and then select Paint. Now, we're going to be extra artistic here. Click on the paintbrush on the left so you can freehand paint. And then let's give your story a name. Uh, I'll call mine The Big Day. Once you're finished, don't forget to click in the costume bubble at the top to rename your backdrop. I'll call mine Intro. I think what we'll do is we'll have this backdrop appear for four seconds and then our story will start. So click on the code tab at the top here to get back to scripting and then click on your cat sprite. Do you remember which block changes backdrops? Over in the purple looks category, find the switch backdrop to block and snap it in just under the when green flag clicked button. Change the backdrop in the bubble to read intro. We also want it to last for four seconds, so don't forget that we need to make our cat wait for four seconds after the backdrop changes. Go to the orange control category and grab a wait one seconds block. Snap it in under the switch backdrop to intro block and then change the number of seconds to wait to four. Before you run your program, you'll need to do the same thing to the basketball. Otherwise, it will start talking during the intro. Click on the basketball sprite in the bottom right, grab a wait one seconds block from control, snap it into the script just under when green flag clicked, and change the seconds from one to four. Now run your program. Do you see the problem? Your sprites are on top of the intro. Scratch has a lovely block that you will use for a lot of situations like this. In the purple looks blocks, and it's called hide. You might need to scroll down in the looks blocks before you find the hide button. Hide is a way to make your sprite invisible, like it's not even there. It's great for when you need a sprite to go hiding for a few minutes. Let's start our program by having our sprites both hide. Go to the purple looks blocks, then grab a hide block. Snap it in under the when green flag clicked button. We will need to do the same exact thing for the cat. Click on the cat in the sprite section in the bottom right. Then grab another hide block and snap it in under the when green flag clicked button. Now run your program. Cool. Looks good, right? Oh no. What's happened? Our sprites are gone. Our story is running without our characters. Well, it makes sense. We told the sprites to hide, but we never told them to come back. Talk about winning hide and go seek. There's a block just above hide called show. If we want our sprites to come back, we need to snap in two show blocks after the introduction is over. Grab a show block and drag it into the script. Snap it in just under the first go to XY block. Let's do the same thing for the basketball. Click on the basketball in the sprites menu, grab a show block, and snap it in under the first go to XY block. Now, try your story. Wow, look at it. We made a story. 
That's it. You're ready to make your very own story. Try out the tricks we've learned in the last few videos, and don't be scared to try out brand new stuff too. Who knows, you might find the most wonderful thing that nobody else even thought of. When you've made your story, don't forget to share it and then post a link in the comments below. Great work. I hope you had fun. Thanks a lot. See you soon.